Hello YouTube, hi, this is Andrew again. And I remember from last video, I was gonna try and show you just a little bit more, well, I did mention that FileMaker had it a bit easier to make the auto numbers. So, like I showed you in the last video, um, see how the auto number is right here, well, the, the primary key. And I have this information right here in the format. I'm gonna show you a little bit, well, pretty much just how I did it. It's really gonna be a pretty short video. And I did the same thing in FileMaker right here. It auto-populated it. And there's one interesting caveat. FileMaker has the option to reorder the primary number. All right, so let's uh, commence with the video. Okay, so first off, I'm, well, you know, I found out that Access can only allow one auto number per table. I'm going to create a table real quick here. Table, yeah. sample. Okay, so it's already an auto number. Let's change it to EX, well, EX, P. Okay, so now for the increments, and this is very important, I was kind of drive you, drive you nuts for the first time. You gotta put in double quotes, oh wait, double quotes. Let's say um, EX, and why not EXP, uh, space. Now, zero and backslash, not regular slash like your, you know, like next to your question mark, um, the backslash one. And we're gonna save it. And let's do, just for example, a name. You gotta put something, like, yeah, so no, whatever. Okay, and save it. Let's look at it. All right, watch this. Um, Bob, see, there you go. Okay, enter. Uh, let's do Smith. And it just pretty much just keeps, it pretty much goes up by 10 increments. Uh, caps locks. There you go. Susie. Whatever. Okay, so there you go. That's auto number in there. And access. Now let's go to FileMaker. Okay. Now I already have this set up this way. So. Let's go and see what, oh, I'll just go into edit. <laughs> edit all this. So, actually, you gotta go to, you gotta go to your manage database. And see, this is how it well, pretty much worked. Um, we're gonna look at it. You see, on creation, I can put whatever I want here. And for the validation, so there's your primary, you know, unique field. Not empty, it's not gonna be empty. Uh, not allowed to be empty. And it's gonna autofill. This is it. You know, all you need to do is just create a table. So here, watch, I'll just create a table. Um, ID ID two. <laughs> it probably won't let me do two of them, but anyways, let's just do this. All right, so let's go into here. Um, auto enter, serial number. Um, ID to um, and start at one pretty much and it's going to continue so validation uh now we're not gonna mm, just do not empty but don't make it unique just in case so all right let's go okay there you go item two all right let's exit let, yeah save let's see what happened here now, yeah, it's pretty much gonna work. It's gonna show you right here, you're gonna have to add a new record. So see item, see, item two, you made one. All right, now watch this. Um, this is where it gets really cool and fun. 
you go to records. Um, let me see here. Let's sort replace contents. So replace. Um, oh wait, cancel out that one. So you got to go to what number you want to change. Let's go to records. Replace field contents. Place it with. All right, so let's go to one. Place uh, one and increment. Uh, let's kind of do the same thing as before. Zero one. And replace. Now there you go. Same thing, pretty much. ID two twenty eight. That took about like what two seconds? <laughs> A few seconds here. See, there's item two, just all by itself, pretty much. Yeah, because I made a line on here to separate them all. That's why it looks a little off. Yeah, item two, three, four, five, six. Yep. All the way up to well, I can just do it this way. All the way up to twenty-eight. New one. All right, so that's pretty much about it. It just felt like that was a nice little tidbit to uh, um, send along, show everybody. All right. Have a nice day. Hello, YouTube. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, this is Andrew Bartlett, the owner of our database controls. I have a bachelor's in management information systems. I earn from Fayetteville State University and currently working for Cerner Corporation. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you what you think, comments, uh, you know, whatever, whatever you would like to learn next time on the next video. Let me know. I'm all ears and have a great day and I'll see you again.